it's Jill with Crit Flicks. I am doing round two of the shoes. Um, I did the designer shoe the other day, and now I'm on this second pair. I'm going to turn these upside down here. Those are a couple other projects I'm working on. Um, these shoes, in the, the original images was just one, and we put two in there, so it looks like one's standing behind the other. And it has a ruffle of, of um, like, tulle and, and whatnot up here on the top of the shoe, and then a ribbon going down here. And it had mesh, like a, it wasn't a, um, I can't think of what it's even called, a fishnet, like a fishnet stocking. It was just a mesh over here in black. Um, it would not, I could not print it out, number one, because in this image of the shoe, there was a foot in it, so it was white. And there's no way of tracing it and getting rid of that and keeping the, the, the mesh. Also, I didn't think it was necessary. So I'm going to share what I did do with the mesh. I am going to put, I shouldn't say mesh, it was tool. It was the same thing as tool. I missed a spot here. Let me get, fix this real quick. Um, so what I decided to do was just remove the whole entire inside of the shoe uh, that, that, was, that had like a white form in it. You know how whenever you're trying shoes on or brand new shoes in a box and they have something stuffed in the toe, that's what that was. But it was white and it really showed. And you couldn't see the mesh. And it did not discourage me because I am going to take tool and I'm going to put it behind this before I put it together. And that's what it was. I keep calling it mesh. It was a tool that was... Um, I take I stuck it to the table, guys. I'm using my half inch tape. I just ordered a new gun off of Amazon um, that handles a quarter inch tape and half inch tape because this thing I've had for 10 years and it is so busted up. It it's just it's a mess. I don't know why it is on these these guns. Uh, it starts to get a tape buildup on the ring and then the tape starts wrapping around itself and just just ugly things. So I bought a new gun. I totally forgot I did that. I went on a on a rampage the other day, I, I guess, because a rampage with Amazon. Um, I, you know, I, I hate shopping in the stores and I absolutely am hooked on Amazon, but I haven't ordered anything in a long time. I'm going to use a quarter inch tape on part of these skinny little strips. But I always get notified there's a package coming. I'm thinking, oh, good. I probably ordered something. I don't see. Here's my tape wrapped around itself. And I don't know how well you can see it. But this tape here is stuck up in this tape, the, um, the other roll. And I have to pull it out and pray that it doesn't break. And then I have to wind it up. And I do not, there's a lot of tape residue on the, the roller, <clears throat> on the inside of the tape gun. People ask about these all the time. Um, and you can get them in any hobby shop or online. They're just a Scotch ATG gun. That's all it is. But I, I don't like it. It's doing that. So I'm, I'm going to wait until I get the, the one that I bought that's a quarter inch and a half inch. <clears throat> Although I... Would not be, I would use it just for half inch because I've got two quarter inch guns. I may have to break down my new guns for the quarter inch because they're also very, very, very old and starting to gunk up on me. Drives me nuts. Uh oh. I'm going to take my tool and glue all the way across, or well, tape, I should say. It doesn't need to be glued. And it tapes in there very, very, very nicely. So. And I'm making sure that it's laying flat and tight. So, which, what is nice about this tape is it holds it very well for me to mess with it. Make sure that it's tight and flat, but I can pick it up if I need to. That, which, with regular paper, cannot do that. Um, I mean, with if I was gluing two, taping two pairs of shoes together, I couldn't use, get by with tape. It would never hold it. I got a bubble right there. I'm trying to get it out. There we go. Now I moved it into the next one. So let's get it out of that one. 
you know, the first one I already did the, the other shoe and it was a lot easier. Okay, come on. There we go. Got it, got it. And the last one is here. And there we go. Got it. Now I've got it all flat and tight on there. Now I'm going to go through and cut off the excess. Now when you're cutting tool, um, I have scissors that I use to cut like wire um, and silk flowers, let's say. Uh, that it's quite a few years old and the blades are starting to get dull on me. So that's what I use it for. And then I have another one, um, the Tim Holtz scissors. And I absolutely love them. And I have another pair that I just originally decide for doing cuts like this because it's got a really good blade on it but I know there's been a few times that it was too lazy to get up and get the right gun I said that's okay I'll just use this or not gun scissors I knew I wasn't confused and I'm, I'm gonna pick up on the right on the right track I didn't it, it started where it wouldn't cut even ribbon so I invested in this big awkward pair of scissors uh, and I don't think I, the reason I think I've been able to not just grab it and, and, and use them is because with these, it's not very easy. And that didn't make any sense. What it may, what would have made sense is what I need is another pair of the red scissors, Tim Holtz scissors, because this isn't that easy to, to, to do. Um, unfortunately, you can't see the tool very good in the in the um the camera i'm sure you're not going to be able to but yeah i want to have another piece on there it may show more in person it will show more not a lot though i mean it, it's not like i don't know what i'm going to call it doesn't not overwhelm it's not overpowering the shoe the mesh is very very light now I'm going to take and put my peg in. I have to, when you're putting your peg in, you try, this is going to go on a wood base, and I want this to be as centered as possible. When I hold the shoe down flat as though they're walking, this part, these heels don't touch, but I don't want to tilt the shoes back. Well, I guess I could, t I could put it back t t touching. Yeah, let me try that so they look... Yeah, now that I put this on there, let me try that. Oh, see, I was just going to use my good scissors to get that off. Shouldn't be that hard to get off because it's not that dry yet. But it's hot glue, and I don't want to put it, tear it off with the mesh. Now, well, let's see. It came off. It came off. We're in luck. I'm going to straighten them. I just want to make sure they look good with the heel sitting back. Yeah, they do. So I'm, how I'm going to use it to make sure I have it straight is I'm going to use the edge of my table to determine where the peg needs to go. I'm going to put it in the same spot, but I'm going to tilt it so that the heels don't stick out further. I'm going to put it exactly where I had it. Not exactly the same position, but I'm going to put it exactly where I had it. Right there, and here's my base. I just want to make sure it looks good on my base i can't i have a real hard time because i put pieces together and put the peg in and didn't like the way it sat on the base and i have to go back and, and take it apart latrice it's perfect came out perfect i'm gonna take a little more of this off though i tell you what I, this message is to latrice i'm gonna grab my trash the, the my client um that I have pulled out so many things to use on your shoes that I am going to go nuts. They're going to be so much fun to do. I have a bubble here I want to get rid of. There we go. Before I put all that glue on there, I want that going. on. It's going to be kind of tricky, the sticks I'm going to use. Because I need, I need to have strength on where these are bent. I do not want... The, low battery okay guys
Okay, guys, I'm back. I don't have any idea when my camera went dead, where I was at talking, and I don't remember what I said, so we're just going to move on from where I am now. I'm just starting to put the sticks in, and I don't know if I was saying something very profound when the camera, I heard, I heard a kind of a, kind of the phone yelling at me saying, ah, uh, would be nice to be charged. Sarcastic phone. So I had to go and hook it up to, so it's now plugged in. Like you care. I just, I want to make sure you're in the know of anything I'm up to right now. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm going to mix and match my sticks on these thin parts. I need some thin sticks. So I'm going to grab some of my thin sticks. I've got all of them sorted out, but I'm running out of room to, to keep them. So I put my pegs and my thin ones all in the same um, little box, little box. Okay. Um, someone asked, you know, asked me what sticks in case she didn't get the answer. Um, it's just regular popsicle sticks. These big ones uh, like this would be giant tongue depressor, depress, suppressor, tongue Tongue depressor. Oh my God. I wouldn't believe how many words. Just absolutely so bad. Um, tongue depressor, that's right. But this is a really big one. So I don't know what this one is really used for. And then this one would be like you would see in a doctor's office. But all of them are just sticks like that. And you can buy them on Amazon. Um, I don't even think you have to be specific about the type that you're using it because it'll pull them all up. If you type in the word sticks on Amazon, they will find every stick that is ever made. I tell you, every time we, I, my daughter and I have the same, not my daughter only, but my, my family, we all use the same one because I have Prime. <laughs> she gets a package every day. I, I said this on the video yesterday or the other day. Uh, so I always think it's for me, even though I don't recall ordering anything. Um, and when I do order something, I ordered out some exercise shirts uh, because I, I I don't have, well, anyway, I ordered some exercise shirts from there. So that after I did that, every time I open up my Amazon, they've got every single person that sells an exercise shirt. You might be interested in this because this is what I did for one of my searches. I know what I'm talking about. But anyway, then I know what my daughter orders and she has been ordering um, clothes for my new baby granddaughter. Um, Cause my daughter is just absolutely in heaven with, with having another daughter. Cause she's got the nine year old um, and the 16, almost 17 year old stepdaughter. Um, and then the three, the, and then she's got the four boys. One's a stepson and then the other that um, actually she gave birth to. So she has had three boys. Her last baby, three babies have been boys. And she so badly wanted to have a little girl. Um, and so she got it. Um, and every time, every day I get something, I think I'm getting something. And I look, I go on Amazon and look and see, well, what, what, who did this go to? Because it didn't come here. And it'll be my daughter and it's some sort of clothing for my granddaughter. It's so cute. Um, that, that daughter, um, folks that followed me when I went through a, a period of absolute total crazy, uh, I had a lot to say in opinions of my, my ex-son-in-law. I gotta cut this on my little saw. This little table saw has come in so handy for cutting where was it going? Right here, guys? Tell me. Where was I putting it? Yeah. Why did I need to cut it? That was long enough. I don't think that's where I was going to put it. No, I was going to put it here. I don't know where, guys. And I hope that I'm building up your confidence in me, Latrice, because I I just do. I can't necessarily uh, explain things because I forget a lot. They say that exercising helps with that. And 
I'm waiting for it to kick, <laughs> kick in. It's been six weeks that I religiously work out for two hours every night. And I am still waiting for that memory to, to get better. Because they said it would. And I read numerous articles and said all the benefits of exercising. So I'm just waiting to reap those rewards for the hard work. It's actually not work. It's actually a blast. I'm having more fun. <laughs> I, I had written um, the company company because I wanted a different... <laughs> I wanted a different music and I know that somewhere along the line there's something one of the programs that you can put your own music and that was one of the features that they're like oh everybody's gonna love this and they say oh we got the best music not the ones that you can't put music on and I hate the music I hate it um, it just it's it's not my type so I wrote them and told them how old I was and everything but I absolutely love the Oculus, and I use it every single day for two hours, and blah, 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 blah. Like, as usual, blah, blah, blah. It's me talking. Um, they, The guy wrote me back and um, told me they were working on it to make more options and and everything. He was saying how he was impressed and, and um, how... Thank you for the feedback and impressed with the, the, what I said I was doing on it. Um, I've been trying to tell everybody I know so I can challenge, not, not so I can challenge them. I'm up to the challenge of people just getting healthy. Um, and I've gone on about this before, so I'll make it short. Um, it is, it is so, I feel like a different person. You know, my daughter keeps saying, how much weight did you lose? I said, I, probably nothing. But, um. Believe it or not, I'm losing in inches. Not weight so far, but they say muscle weighs more than fat. And no, don't talk, take me wrong because I I've never never want to say that I'm fat. I don't like it when people I don't like people when they say they're fat or they're skinny or they're whatever. It's not what I'm doing it for anyway. I'm just doing it to stay healthy and to be able to continue to hold my grandkids without without losing my breath picking them up real big deal when you've got grandkids and and they they are such a oh they're my life and i want to stay healthy be there for them and see their kids and and everything else so i made a commitment that i was going to get healthy still waiting for the eating healthy to kick in that hasn't kicked in yet i don't eat a lot and, and when I do, it's whatever is quick and easy and I can grab on the run. And I usually don't eat until after the grandkids are gone because I don't, simply don't have the time. And then I have a tendency to not eat the right things when I finally decide to... Like, my husband's getting that way too. I'm still working on him to exercise because I can see how... Uh, last year, I can see it in him, and, and I just I can't get him to exercise. I don't know what the deal is, but I hate when people tell me to do something and beat it like a dead horse. So I leave him alone. But I really, really would like him to be healthy with me and our grandkids. He absolutely thinks they hung the moon, which I agree with him. He took, I had four of them today from three different families, two different families. And then my husband had, I don't know how many, I think he five he took that rock, a place where you trampolines and rock climbing and all that. And um, our grandkids are going to have good memories. And that is what life is all about, is happy good memories get the trash out throw the trash out guys now I'm as you can see I'm pulling the front to the back um, and what I really my what I really don't want is I do not want any of my my um, seams to open and sometimes it's possible and sometimes it is not so it depends on how thick the 
the pieces that will determine whether or not you can get them glued so tight you can't see anything. This is working really good so far. The tree sits looking good. You sent me all the pictures of the shoes or all the images that you wanted me to do. And I don't know if you still have them. Well, I'm sure you would in our conversation, you would have them. Um, maybe you can probably already know what I'm doing here anyway. Um, and we talked and I asked you about blinging. This is, again is directed to you, Latrice, I hope I'm saying your name right. It's a beautiful name, beautiful name. if I'm saying it right, it's a beautiful name anyway. Um, that you said, bling them, bling them up, bring it on. And so that's what I'm going to do. I just really want these to take on a whole new groovy. I haven't heard that word in a long time. Okay. Get, this is the last I got to glue up here. Get all that down. Um, and also the way that this printed on, this is another reason that I decided to do them the way that I'm doing them, is because these images, when you when you make them large, a lot of times, I tell people, have them at least eight, a, a thousand um, on the resolution that will tell you underneath the image. If And if you get it on Etsy, you want a three, 300 DPI. So when you make them bigger, they stay clear and crisp. These were neither. Um, so... I want to show you how by the time I'm done, these are absolutely going to be gorgeous. First thing I'm going to do, I think, before I do that, because I want to bring them up under, I am going to put rhinestones. I have a roll of rhinestones here that I don't want to use hot glue. I'm going to use my dries clear glue. And I'm going to put these down, right down these, um, these go right down the middle of the, the foot or leg, foot, leg, foot. I'm thinking of, I don't know what I'm thinking of. And so I can see the line where these little tiny straps run down. Good thing this dries clear. Got a little dabble, do you, on the glue there. Okay. That glue is absolutely awesome. It's called Art Glitter. Um, designer ones clear. You can get it on Amazon, but if you're in any of the states that it's winter, um, they will not ship during the winter. Uh, something about, and it tells you there on the, well, it told me, I don't know if it would say it now because it's not winter, but it can't handle with handle the shipping. The, the glue gets ruined. It cannot be in the cold. So when I ordered it, I made sure to order enough to get me through Till I die because I never know what time of the year I might need something. I tell you what, my kids, when they have to go through my craft room and decide what to do with it, I wish I would be a ghost on the wall or a spot on the wall to watch and listen to them because they, they're not going to believe how much stuff I have. And things that I've never touched or used. That was during my um, days of impulsiveness. Those are going away since I've retired and don't go anywhere. When you don't go to the stores, you can't see. I'm making a trip to Hobby Lobby though this weekend and I might have to do a haul video. It depends on if they're... Oh, I forgot I didn't cut it. So I'm now unwrapping it. Come on, Jill, get with the program. Um, depends on what they have on sale. I'm going for ribbons because I absolutely love their trims. They're the best for trims. Hobby Lobby has got the best in seasonal and everything. They are, they, they're awesome. Awesome things they have. In China, you can get, for a good price, lace trims or ruffles and things like that. But I can't tell you the website because I don't know. I ordered enough of that, I thought, until I died. But, you know, I've been adding so much to my pieces that I don't have that much left over. 
Okay, that glue there is still good where I over glued. So I'm going to add more here. Again, it start, clears dry, and not only does it clear dry, there's going to be um, that, the outside of that ribbon is going to be done in glitter anyway. So it doesn't matter about the glue. It's not going to show anyway. These are really hard to work with because they move, and you have to make sure you have the right side up when you glue them down. Because if you don't have the right side up, the other side is just a silver piece of metal. Oh. Okay. I got two sides to do, but I'm only going to do one side right now. So, there I have the rhinestones down the straps that go down the front of the shoe. Now what I'm going to do is again up here at the top it has a ruffle i mean a, i don't even know what it is but it's got tool in it and some other stuff that it doesn't print out where you can see it but i had bought this at hobby lobby probably three or four years ago and it was originally 7.99 a yard and i got this on clearance for 4.79 for the entire roll so it must have not been a big seller and I am so excited to be able to use it on these shoes because it's perfect. It's it's just perfect. I love it. So that is going to go around the tops. And I want a little divot there. So stick that down. And then I'm going to bring it up. That's the shoe in the back. So I want to bring it up a little bit. You're probably not even going to notice. And... Alrighty, there we go. And oops. I was gonna do one side and then boiler after I had one side down. I don't know how I ended up deciding to just go ahead and do it all in one. Which I guess it doesn't matter. I didn't even have any stories to tell you. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure I do, but uh, I call one story was I called my daughter yesterday and she was mad in the hoot hoot all. I asked her what was wrong and she just said I'll call you la later um, I got my glitters out here that I'm going to do I'm going to glitter up in here where the black didn't cover up in the top of the shoe and I'm going to glitter around it to you'll see anyway she um, had gone somewhere for sports or something and when she was coming home or coming back, she noticed she needed gas. So she went to, to the quick trip to get, to get gas. And after she was done or while she was, I don't know what, at what time in, in her filling her gas tank, the conversation went on with my grandson being told to get the trash out of the car while they were there. You know, he wanted, she wanted all the trash that was in there and he wouldn't get it. And he wanted to get out and wash the windows. And she kept saying, no, get the trash out. Um, and this grandson that I'm talking about is 10. And to him, it was far more important to get out and wash the windows. And God only knows why. And she kept telling him no. Well, he got out anyway. And she was had the gas cap open, the gas tank open, because she was filling gas. And he did something and somehow knocked off the door that you opened to get to your gas tank. When she first held it, I thought she meant the lid, the cap for the where you put the gas in, but it wasn't. It was actually the the door that you open. And she she was so mad that she couldn't talk to me on the phone. Well, I ended up with that grandson today. Um, he came over here for the day. During the summer, I take care of the baby sister full time and the older kids never come because they have to play with their kids in the neighborhood. But um <laughs> I think I think he was getting the cold shoulder at home and decided to come. When he got here I wasn't expecting him. I'm like, okay, because I had all the little ones. I said, Do you want to play Fortnite? And he said, No, I can't. Um because my daughter took away his for, for, Fortnite. I think she took the whole PS five out and hit it or something. I'm not real sure. 
<laughs> but he starts telling me how mean his, his mom is. It was hilarious um, because, I mean, it wasn't funny that she fixed the cat or and he knocked the cap off. She came over here and my husband looked at it and put the lid back on. Now, I think I can turn it over and do this because the flowers will keep it from touching. Um, my husband got it back on. It was just one that slid on and off. That's why it came off so easy when he hit it. But she says, take it back off. I wanted, I want to, I wanted his dad to see what she, he did. Um, I don't know if she did, I don't know if he, she did leave it off or not, but she sure carried that anger over. She was still mad this morning. And I think what really she was mad about is because he wouldn't clean out the back of the car and they just got a new, a new, I don't know what it looks like. I tell her like a city bus. The car is so huge. Both my daughters got one. And um, they throw all their trash in the back. If they're drinking a, drinking something, or they got a cup, they got, they've got they driven through to get food for whatever. Whatever it is, the kids all throw everything away in the back. And I remember those days because my kids did the exact same thing. And uh, she was telling me about all these problems up, about keeping them home during the summer and going out with the neighbor kids and she works from home and, and she works for um, telecommunications and works with the FCC uh, to make sure that the company stays in compliance. And there's a lot of reports that need to come, that come due this time of year. And so she keeps telling her kids, you can go outside, you can stay home and you can play with your kids. I used to take care of all of them, but she stopped because it's just getting to be too much for me. Um, so she said, they, you know, that's fine. And you can play out there, but you don't come in. Don't come in and ask me anything. Don't come in, you know, whatever. You can come in to use the bathroom. But if the kids that she was playing with had to go to the bathroom, they were to go home and go to the bathroom. And she's telling me this whole whole thing, which she's telling the kids, laying down the rules. And I'm laughing, thinking, my God, it was verbatim what I complained about when my kids were little. Every kid in the neighborhood migrated to my house all the time. And I worked from home. And... Um, they got hungry, they came in to get something to eat. Or my daughter would get an ice cream and she'd give one to every kid in the neighborhood. And um, I, I remember it so well. And I remember my kids always say, all I, all I remember when we were little, you yelled a lot. And now my kids do the same thing. I get on the phone with them and they're yelling at one of the kids for something. Um, that's kids, that's having kids. And when you have four of them or seven of them, and you're all hanging out wherever. I don't know where I was going with that one other than the gas cap. I thought the gas cap story was funny. When she said, put it, no, don't put it on. I want to show it, their dad what he did. But I'm sure he didn't get in trouble because it, it uh, slipped right back on. If he didn't get in trouble, uh, I would imagine he's the one outside picking the trash up. My son-in-law... <laughs> She probably sent him out and said, okay, then you pick up the trash. So I venture to say that may have been what happened. I didn't ask. Okay. I'm outlining everything. It's called gun smoke. No, steel. Yeah, the, I don't like the true black because it doesn't glitter enough. Um, I just, I don't like it. I have it. Black diamond, it's called. But it just, to me, doesn't. It just doesn't pop out enough. So I either use gun smoke, which has been on back order for a good year now. I don't believe I'm ever going to be able to get it again. And now I order steel, and I shouldn't have said that. Because now steel will be out. The gun smoke is on back order, and some people have it. If you go on and look in, in Amazon, you can find it. However, they're selling it for like ten to fifteen dollars a bottle. These are like a buck seventy nine a bottle. You talk about greed. I just, just I, I wouldn't buy it out of principle because I think that's super greedy. That has a name, but I can't think of what it is right now. And all of a sudden, in the middle of the conversation, it will blurt it out. Okay. I think I'm running out of this now, though. And I hate it when it spits. I hate that. I wish it would spit the other way. I don't know why it always have, has to spit out to the, that side. 
What do I want to do? I want to do that in brown, so I don't need to put the black on that. Let me get to the... Oh, they also ran out of brown months ago. So now they have... Um, I can't read it, guys. I don't know what color. This color. That's what I'm going to use on the inside soles, the bottoms of the shoe. That one I'm not going to use. It's empty. I think I need that one for the tip. Whenever I get a clock tip, I save the empty bottles that flowed well. So I knew the tips were good. And then I swap them out when I run into a bad one. Okay. And I don't know why, and I've said this in numerous videos, for some reason, lately, I've really been having issues with the stickles um, clogging. And I have no idea why. They're brand new. Um, I buy a lot of them at once, so maybe sometimes when I grab them when it's old, but it shouldn't make any difference. I'm sure that they don't stock these, make them every day. But it's hit and miss. The diamond and there's one other diamond. I have probably six or seven bottles there that are clogged. And when I squeeze it to try and get the clog out, it's a clear. Whatever they mix the glitter with to make the glue is what comes out. Um, drives me insane. But I have a big one of those T-pins I found. Hit and miss if it'll work. But a T-pin like this, if you're familiar with them at all, you can get those at any, any fabric shop or whatever. Or online again. Um, those are really good for opening. They open it really. They open the hole big. So you have to be careful. When you first start to use it. After you've done that. Because you're not going to be familiar. With how fast it's going to come out. Or how thick. So you're going to want to maybe. Even squirt it out a little bit on the paper. Before you put it on your project. Because again. I never know how thick it's going to come out. I do love it. I ordered a bunch of new Nouveau's, um, and I had put on a, one of my um, films. I had said I had bought it, but I wasn't real crazy about it. I, I have started buying it again because um, I've been having so many troubles with the stickles, and they do have a lot of colors. Stickles, between the two of them, I can get about every other color or every color that I need. So I like that. Um, so I have those, but I, they're limited um, brown for some reason. I get black, but there's, there's not much for brown. And I'm talking about absolutely nothing, guys. I've been out of touch for so long. I have forgotten what I do or what I'm doing. Okay. And there's a little tiny bit on the bottom of this shoe. So I'm just going to put a little tiny bit there and put a little tiny bit there. And if you were looking at these in person right now, you would see exactly what I am talking about. The soles of the shoe. There's a little bit showing. And so I want to glitter the bottom as an accent. And then there's a little bit around the heel. And... Again, I'm just doing this just to accent it. And I really want all of the shoes, the shoes that I do, I want them to really pop out. So, um, I'm not going to add a lot of others besides those rhinestones there. And again, in person, they, they don't need any more than that. They look great. Now, I want some silver. Oh, as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to go do my workout and let the mosquitoes continue to eat my legs up. My husband and my daughter both saw my legs, and neither one said anything to me. Because my daughter thought, thought my skin was just my skin with aging. Um, all these, these, like, marks all over her. And my husband... He didn't think anything of it. He thought of something else. But it's freaking some mosquitoes. I go work out outside because when I get swinging, 
when I'm working out, my arms are wailing everywhere and I'm going to break my arm or my fingers because I hit things all the time. So I do it outside. But the mosquitoes know. So I'm doing it earlier tonight thinking I'm going to catch them off guard so they won't bite me up. I am, my legs, because I have, I have, um, I don't know why it's just my legs. It's maybe in the grass. Maybe it isn't mosquitoes. Whatever it is, they're eating my legs up. But it'll go away. If it doesn't go away, it will be covered up. I have to start wearing, cover up makeup on my legs to cover up my scars and bruises and bites. They look like a war zone. Okay, I am definitely running out of this and I'm really praying that this isn't my last bottle. I just ordered probably, I don't even know how many stickles I ordered this past month. And I have been so freaking busy that I have to reorder already. I, and I usually have, why do I have something that'll work in my new bowl? I don't like that talking to myself, guys. You know, this is the last pair or the last round I have, so pray for me that I can make it through this last shoe. I've got about four inches left I need, guys. Root for me here. Because I'm going to be, next one I'm going to be using is mercury. So, let me get rid of the steel. You're not praying hard enough, guys. Come on, you got to make it happen. Say it and mean it. Oh, I think you did. Somebody put a word in for me there. Okay, I got a quarter of an inch here to do. Made it to the finish line. Did it. And, oh, that's got the peg and it's wet. Hold on just a minute. I got to look and see if I can close that anymore. And I don't know. This is open further than I would like it. I will I will get it closed, but I can't close it until that dries. There's an area there that I don't like. Now, there is an area here. I did that in silver. I can go ahead and do this. No, I don't know what mercury because that's the color it is here. Right between the shoes. Okay. Deep breaths. That was clogged. These are all brand new. Okay, I think that one's coming out, but yeah, it is, but coming out a little thick, which is okay, as long as I know ahead of time. And actually what I needed was just a little bit thick. Um, this part of the bottom in, or the inset of the shoe. They are glittered and jazzed. And I may, I'm going to decide when it's dry, I may add some clear rhinestones. But for right now, here's what we got. And I wish you could see them in person. The back side is wet where I, I did the top. Um, you know what I mean. I gotta find somewhere to hold this. Somewhere I can touch. And I, when I do this, I'm putting the base on. Everybody asks me, what do I put in there to screw them on? I'm not screwing it on, I just ring it up. I just push it back and forth to push it onto the peg. Because sometimes it's not real easy to get it in there, but I want it nice and tight. I don't want the shoes wobbling or the pieces. So there we go. We got pair number two done. I will take a picture of it close up. And um, Latrice, you're going to have to let me know what you think. It might. I might add a little bit more. Um, I'm going to look at it for a minute here and decide. But you can see that the. Um, you can see the tool in here 
Yeah, I really, I really like it. I think it's adorable. So that's it for tonight. And uh, the next pair hopefully will be tomorrow. That is, leave a comment for me, please. Not a nasty one. Just keep that to yourself. But leave me a comment whether you think you would like to see me do all the pairs to see what they're going to be like. Or if you say, eh, enough of shoes. Just let me know. I'd like to know what your thoughts are. I would really appreciate it. And thanks a lot for watching and have a great remainder of the week and weekend. Well, just have a great life. And tell me what I need to do to get here to shut this off. My endings are always superb because I watched one the other day. It took, probably took me 10 minutes to get signed off. But I'm going to try it and see if I can say bye-bye. Told you, wasn't going to work. Try it again. <laughs> Grid view and list view. I have no idea if I'm still on the camera. I was still on the camera. No. Yes, it's still filming. <laughs> Goodbye.